Now it's time for Culture Talk, where we talk about culturally relevant topics you can use to start conversations about your faith. And I'm joined today with astronomer Dr. Hugh Ross. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my pleasure. We're going to be talking about a deep topic, and that is dark matter. Um, first, before we dive into its relevancy as far as sharing our faith, can you explain what is dark matter? Well, dark matter is matter that does not interact well with light, either doesn't interact at all or interacts very weakly. Mm. Now, we're made up of ordinary matter, made up of matter composed of protons, neutrons, and electrons, mm. and that has the property of strongly interacting with light. Mm -hmm. So it's easy to see. I mean, stars are made up of ordinary matter, and because they interact with photons, they're bright. Mm. Dark matter does not interact with photons, so it's dark. What is it? What is its function? Well, it stabilizes uh, galaxies and galaxy clusters. Mm -hmm. I mean, one of the quests of astronomers and physicists is to find the particles that comprise dark matter. Mm -hmm. But because they interact so weakly with photons, they're extremely difficult to detect. But we can see the gravitational influence of mm -hmm. dark matter. So, for example, if you look at our Milky Way galaxy, the stellar disk is about 120,000 light years in diameter. Mm -hmm but we see that there's a gigantic dark matter halo encompassing our galaxy uh, that's about two million light years in diameter. And 90% of our Milky Way galaxy's mass is dark matter. Only 10% is made up of ordinary matter. So if dark matter doesn't um, react well or isn't quite detectable in light, then how do we know it exists? And from what I've read, it, it's considered theoretical. So does that mean, like from an average person's perspective, if you say theoretical, it means, uh, you know, well, we, we don't it, quite know. Yeah, some have used that term mm -hmm. to say it's hypothetical. We really don't mm -hmm. know if it exists, mm -hmm. but we certainly see its gravitational influence. Mm -hmm. So there's something that doesn't emit light mm -hmm. uh, that is exerting a lot of gravity. Mm -hmm. And astronomers can measure with fairly high precision the ratio of dark matter to ordinary matter. Mm -hmm. And there's about five to six times as much dark matter as their ordinary matter. Uh, so what it helps to explain the amazing symmetry of our Milky Way spiral galaxy is the fact that it's stabilized by this enormous dark matter halo that encompasses it. And we see that for all galaxies, mm -hmm. as well as the structure of galaxy clusters. So astronomers have no doubt Mm -hmm. that this dark matter is real mm -hmm. and it's the second most dominant component of the universe, second to only dark energy, uh, but we have yet to detect the fundamental particles that comprise mm -hmm. dark matter and it may be a while before we do because uh, they're going to be extraordinarily difficult to find. Right. So from astronomers perspectives it does exist, you just haven't uh, identified the particles, so if it makes up the vast majority of what's in our universe. Well, it makes up the majority of the matter. Dark mm -hmm. energy makes up 70% of the universe. Mm -hmm. Matter makes up 30%. Wow. But most of that 30% is dark matter. So that is an important topic to kind of wrap our heads around, especially as we think about worldviews. So does, does the existence of dark matter and its predominance, does that seem to fit well with any one particular worldview and maybe not fit well with other worldviews? Well, for example, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't even exist mm -hmm. if there wasn't this high ratio of dark matter to ordinary matter. So yeah, dark matter is crucial mm -hmm. to explain why there's physical life in the universe. It's part of the fine-tuning argument uh, for the existence and character attributes of the creator. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that it, it is like an attributes of the creator. So how would we articulate that if we're having a conversation with someone about dark matter, you know, would conversation just happens to go to the well, topic of dark matter? How do we even I'll engage give you an in that? example. <laughs> you know, my younger son was involved in a death metal band. Oh, I remember that. That was called Channeling <laughs> Darkness. Yeah. So uh, I sat down with the five members of the band and mm -hmm. said, would you really like to hear about cosmic darkness? Mm -hmm and how it makes up 99, says the stuff we see is only 0.27% of all the stuff of the universe. 99.73% mm. is dark stuff, mm. dark matter and dark energy. And they were all years, oh, you gotta tell us about this. And I told them, make that percentage the tiniest bit bigger or the tiniest bit smaller, 
there'd be no life in the universe. Mm. They wound up writing uh, some lyrics about the design of dark matter in the universe. Yeah. And then one of them became a Christian as a result. So that's just one example of how you can use this. That's really interesting. And you you bring up such fascinating uh, talking points for something that maybe people might not initially be intrigued. If you said, let's talk about dark matter, they might not want to hear about it. But the way that you kind of unpack that, I think, makes it really well, interesting. How I intrigue their curiosity. Mm -hmm. Only a quarter percent of the stuff that we see in the universe is stuff that exhibits light. Wow. The rest of it's dark stuff. Do you know? Do you want to know why it has yeah. to be that huge quantity of dark stuff? Yeah. That got their attention. Well, you know, it's got my attention for sure. I hope it's got our viewers' attention. And if they want to learn more, where would you point them to? Well, my latest book, Designed at a Core, has mm -hmm. several chapters that mm -hmm. deal with the fine-tuned designs of the dark stuff in the universe, mm -hmm. particularly the fact that our Milky Way galaxy is unlike any other Milky Way galaxy in that it has this enormous dark matter halo around it. Wasn't for that, again, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. Well, thank you so much for that, Hugh. So viewers, if you would like to learn more about this topic, go to support.reasons.org and you can get designed to the core.